So we're looking at a number line here where the distance from 0 to 1 represents a whole. Duh. And we want to know what fraction of the whole represents the distance from point S to point T. So we have a problem to solve here. And we should see that our solution to this problem is going to be a fraction. Okay, so now let's get to it. We want to find a solution here. So first, let's think about what we already know about the number line. We usually see it this way, where the distance between each of those marks represents 1. So we go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. But the number line that we are looking at is only the distance in between 0 and 1. So imagine taking a magnifying glass and putting it over that section of the number line and zooming in really close. And that distance between 0 and 1 represents one whole, like one whole sandwich. I want that. Can we take a lunch break? No? Alright, well, after, after, okay. Okay, so anyway, if I want to take that whole sandwich and cut it in half, I would have to split it right down the middle. And that new mark that I just drew would represent one half. And each of these sections would represent one half of the whole. Just like half a sandwich would represent one half of the whole thing. So now let's go back to the original number line that we first started with. And we see that from 0 to 1 represents the whole. But our answer is going to be a fraction. So to find our denominator, we need to count how many pieces we're cutting the whole into. So by counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we know that our denominator is going to be 8 since we're cutting this whole into 8 equal size pieces. And what we want to find is the distance between S and T. That is the part of the whole and is going to be our numerator. So we count that distance as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our whole is 8 parts. And the distance between S and T is 6 of those 8. So 6 is going to be in our numerator. So now that we have the fraction 6 over 8, we need to ask a question, and that question is, can it be simplified? So let's visualize how we can simplify 6 over 8. So if the whole is 8 and the part is 6, we know that those are both divisible by 2. So let's make the whole 4 instead of 8. And we can see that our part is now 3 instead of 6. Again, since 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So our simplified fraction is 3 over 4. And now we seem to have a solution to this problem. The last thing we have to ask is, does my answer make sense? So this is the part where you have to stop, think, and then explain in your own words why your answer to this problem makes sense. So take a few minutes to do that. And I want to give you a big thank you for joining me on this problem. And please feel free to join me again. It's been a lot of fun. I'll catch you guys next time. All right, everyone, that's it for that lesson. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link below. Our goal here at Mashup Math is to change your attitude about learning math. We want to make it a fun and a visual experience, and your feedback really does mean a lot to us. So please leave a comment below, let us know what you're thinking, and we'll try to keep making some cool stuff for you guys so you keep having fun and keep looking forward to learning math. So we'll see you guys soon.